the day has come. I hit 100 subs. Go figure. Good morning, it's a beautiful day in California. What started out as my hobby that I enjoy um, turned out to have a hundred people interested. Uh, for me, that's huge. I know it's probably the smallest channel out there, but I'd like to thank all of you for being a part of it. Um, I really do like making these videos and uh, the support I get from you guys but kind of keeps me motivated. First, I want to thank all my subscribers, every single one of you, uh, for helping me on this journey. Um, and I want to do that by doing some giveaways. Now, I don't have a lot to give away, obviously, and I don't really give away turtles because they're just not items, you know? Uh, to me, these are this is something Turtles are something you need to like really want to, to have and take care of and to raise and it's a long-term commitment. So I won't subject anybody or their kids to that, but I will send out some food. And then um, I'm also gonna do some food giveaway maybe on the 250 if I ever get that high. So the food I'm gonna be giving out is uh, Missouri or Reptomin. Um, that way I figure out, I figure I can give a little bit of both and that way your turtles can try it and see if they like it. Uh, I'm thinking about like a little Ziploc bag or maybe a sandwich bag of food. Thank you everyone who's been on me with this journey, starting from Shelltastic Jeff M. And now we became turtly Shelltastic. Uh, this is gonna be the three year update for the two uh, other females that I kept as holdbacks from three years ago. So um, I'm, I'm only, I might be breeding them uh, next year or the year after. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment below as well. I had to put out more videos, um, but I don't know what they're gonna be about yet. There's always, a, there's a lot of nice channels that cover a lot of the information regarding turtle keeping and uh, that type of thing. I think uh, I'm just gonna stick with kind of the updates, uh, my personal journey uh, on, on raising these turtles. Thank you all for all your support and everything you've done for my channel. Thank you for all the positive feedback. Most of all, just for your interest. I know your time is precious. You could be spending it with family. You could be working. And I hope you're not watching these videos while you're working. Personal fact about me. Uh, so I am allergic to cats and dogs. From my childhood, um, I had a friend who had one uh, and introduced me to turtles. And my whole life, I've just wanted to have them. Got into college, got my first turtles. Now it's a long, long time. I still got turtles. Uh, I, you know, it's, 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 it's just something I really can't get away from. So um, that's been my, that's, that's, that's my little personal story there. I will be trying to post more content. So for today, I got a special surprise for you guys. Thanks again for all your support. So this is a dedication to all of you. Uh, the last update I had on these two girls was a six month update. That's a long time ago. So uh, without any further ado, Let's get started with the three year update that we have all been waiting for. Let's get into the update. All right, so this is Shelly. Uh, let's see, we'll measure her out. Uh, she's almost seven inches. And she has this huge flower. She has not shed yet. Three years, she has not shed yet. And she still looks at me with this big old mouth. You can see she's really healthy. Check out the nice pink gums there. Oh, but she is one of my favorite uh, ornates uh, that I've hatched. Uh, I love the markings on her. She's got a pink tone to her skin. And she's got this, I mean, she's really ready to shed. Look at this thing. Uh, when she sheds, I will post a new video to update. Um, but she is just growing like a weed. And then here is the other sister. We are looking at about six inches on her, uh, just above six inches on her. And she is also uh, such a beautiful turtle. Um, she's got a little, she has, she's got more, she's definitely got a lot more markings than her sister. Uh, she's got a, when, they, when this comes off, it's kind of hard to see, but she's got a pretty amazing flower going on too. Um, so here's the update on the hybrid. Uh, this is a hybrid Texan ornate. And she is actually five inches, just about five inches. A little close up on her shell there. So she's got pretty nice markings. Um, 
the bottom, oh. and she looks mostly like a Tex. She looks mostly like a Texan, uh, except she's got some pink and purple to her head, and then obviously the shell there. Um, so the shell I'd say is ornate. The face looks mostly Texan. The nose looks. Oh, you can't tell. Looks, I, I'd say, ornate. Uh, but the but the general look of the body is probably like a light. Uh, looks almost like a lighter skin and uh, Texan type. Mm -hmm. This year's hatchlings were very beautiful. I plan on making a video of the hatchlings from this year. If you are a winner, please. Uh, uh, like and post a comment below. Uh, I need you to post your email below or ask me to post my email and I'll email you and then you can let me know if you would like uh, all Missouri, if you would like all Reptomen, if you would like a combo, I can put them in separate bags for you and you can try. The first winner of the giveaway is going to the gentleman who gave me my first comment when I started my YouTube channel. Uh, back when it was Shelltastic Jeff M, actually, and his name is Lightworker Labs. Uh, so thank you for uh, giving me my first ever comment. The second winner from uh, that I selected was actually my hundredth subscriber. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, name is Ochi Bayon. He subscribed, watched like all my videos, and he commented on ton of them too. I thank you uh, for doing that and the third winner today for this uh, hundredth subscriber appreciation video is Santos Lee. Santos Lee. Great looking diamondback terrapins. Have you ever had issues with aggressions between the hatchlings? Uh, how do you resolve it? I have a hatchling diamondback terrapin who has started nipping at the other and then the last uh, but definitely not least winner, Dan the Guppy Man, uh, which probably a lot of you know as well. Uh, uh, his comment was the funniest comment I've received. Uh, it wasn't too funny, but I wanted to award the funniest comment because I like to read the comments. It says, uh, so cute, Jeff, and tempting. I got to get to work so I can save up for one of these cuties. And I hope you get one real soon. And if you don't, I'm going to help you, brother. So, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to um, reading the comments here and seeing, um, catching up with you guys. Uh, so again, I'll try to do another one on the 250 sub video, 100 subs, and that that's I, that's all thanks to you guys. Um, I really appreciate it.